Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. I have some fun flag projects for you today, but first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm only about half my viewers are subscribed, and a thumbs up is always appreciated. Okay, so I was looking for some creative ways to make American flags. And I, my Dollar Tree had these red, white, and blue lays. They come three to a package, so three for a dollar. And I thought I could make a really cute flag out of these. Um, I bought three packages of three, so that's like a total of nine lays. And that worked out to be exactly about what I wanted. And I want to try to do an American flag like shape with the red, white, and blue lays. So that is going to involve dismantling them. <laughs> it would be a lot easier if they carried red, white, and blue like lays, but all of my Dollar Trees had was bright colors. One of them recently got a blue one in, but of course, after I finish this, but um, that's gonna save you so much time. So what I'm doing is just cutting the string. The string is really thin and just taking it all apart. I'm saving the little white spacers because I will need to space out in between um, the flowers. And then I'm also sorting them into red, white, and blue. I thought it would make it easier when I go to put it together. Now that string was really thin and weak, so I decided to use this um, twine, jute twine from the Dollar Tree, and I thought that that would make it easier to string and it would make it a stronger project. Um, I'm just guessing about how long I want it, and I decide that three feet long, I want it to be fairly large, um, and I want to do like red stripe with red flowers, you know, white stripe with white flowers, and then the blue quadrant with the blue flowers, and that is the goal here. So I don't really know if I have enough, but I just start stringing them. Now, the way that it was put together before, um, they used two flowers between each spacer. So two flowers, spacer, two flowers. So that's what I'm doing. And I just tied um, a knot on the end of the twine, like a double knot, so that that would not fall off. And then I just start stringing. I started with white and red, so because, you know, that's going to be most of the flag. And I thought I could go from there um, with how much I need. So this is time consuming. It took me probably, oh gosh, I don't know, 45 minutes to string all these. It's kind of like stringing beads. Um, it's not hard. It's just time consuming. So put a good song on, put a good YouTube show on, and uh, just start stringing. I have, um, I got one of those Echo Shows for my workbench where I can watch YouTube videos and I freaking love it. It makes crafting go so fast. So I got some red and white ones strong and then I'm like, okay, I need the rest. So what you missed there is I went in and I cut all of them. So I'm using a total of all nine lays. I sorted them into red, white, and blue. And those are all the little plastic spacers. And so I'm starting new lines um, measuring three feet and I'm going to keep stringing. So they don't, you know, go very far when you do two at a time. I don't know if you would get the same effect if you would do one, um, between each spacer. I think it would be like a way less full, like lay look, but, um, that's what I'm doing here is I am stringing lots of white and lots of red stripes. And I kind of just string them all the way with white and red. I kind of, when I'm done with one, I would kind of put one up to the other one to make sure that I have the same amount of flowers because I don't want them looking all light, lopsided when I go to hang them up. And I wish I could have strung them this fast. It was a lot of stringing. That's why I have this so sped up for you. And I get to a point where I'm almost out of white and I'm like, well, I could do like a partial line of white 
and then a partial um, line of blue, and then we'll start in on the blue part of our flag. So I'm stringing what white I had left, and then I'm just gonna change that string into blue. And I really didn't have this mapped out. I was just kind of winging it. So I didn't really know how many stripes of blue I wanted. And so I'm just kind of seeing um, what I can do here. I know I'll have a blue stripe on that white one. And then I'm gonna use the, the rest of the red flowers that I have left here. And then I'm gonna change that one to blue. And that's gonna give me two stripes of blue. for my flag. And when I get to the end, I just tie it off and leave a little bit of string on there. Then I was like, no way is two stripes of the blue gonna be enough. So I pull off the same amount of red flowers that I did the blue um, on the other two, and I am doing another strand of blue here. And there was a little bit of math involved in this project <laughs> by making sure that you had the same amount of flowers on the lines. But as long as you measure your um, cord right, you're gonna be pretty good to go. I was using that giant needle I just had laying around my house. Um, I think that makes it a lot easier because you can go through the fabric of the flower. Then I decide to use one of these five gallon paint sticks for the top. I picked these up at Walmart. I can't, I can't remember how much they were, maybe a dollar or two for a package. They're really cheap. And, but I don't want that little handle part on there. So I am just gonna cut off the end of that and give it a sand. And this is gonna give me something to hang all those lays on to make my American flag. And I cut it a little crooked, so it was involving a little bit of sanding here with my little sanding block from the Dollar Tree to try to make it look kind of even. <laughs> Good enough. Okay, so I don't want to leave it just raw like that, so I'm going to use some of this Antique Wax from Waverly that I get at Walmart, and I'm just going to give it a super quick stain. This stuff, you don't have to wait for it to dry. It dries super fast, and it really brings out the wood and makes like a paint stick like that, a paint stir stick actually look like it's high end. So I just did the front and I'm doing the top and the bottom edges. And that part is done. So I'm just gonna like start seeing. I didn't leave enough string on there to actually tie it and I realize it here so I'm gonna have to hot glue. And I really didn't measure how long the stick is. So I'm kind of trying to see how much space I can have in between each one. And I think it ended up, I did a string every two inches. So I'm just starting to line those up. About how I like them. And I didn't really want the lays hanging off, so I'm kind of doing this upside down. They're gonna be hanging the other direction. And so I'm just gonna use my hot glue gun, and I am just gonna start hot gluing those on every two inches. And here are the rest of the lays. So at this point, I have three um, rows of the blue, and I am gluing those all on. And this flag project was so much fun and it turned out so cute. I really love it. It makes quite a statement. Just cutting off the excess twine here and just tying more of that jute twine on the ends to make a little hanger. Then I was like, it didn't look right with the three I needed four, there needed to be a bigger blue quadrant. It just, there was something missing with the flag shape. So I just pulled that one off, 
pulled off the white flowers and strung some more blue on because I had plenty of blue left over. And that made it look way more flag, right? USA flag, right? So I am just going to glue that back on. And you'll have to see at the final reveal how that turned out. It was super fun. Okay, the next idea I had was to make like a shabby chic flag out of these pillowcases from the Dollar Tree. So this is a polyester um, pillowcase. And it's kind of this dark red color, but it's kind of really pretty. So I'm just kind of cutting it open, trying to cut the seam off and trying to get it to where I just have like a big piece of fabric. And I, I, I've seen people do this with different kinds of ribbon, but I really wanted it to look really shabby. And I thought like ripped fabric would make it look really shabby. So I am ripping it and it ripped really well into nice even pieces. And then when I got to the seam at the end, I had a snippet, but I wanna leave that seam on the end because then I'll have something to put on my dowel to hang um, my flag with. And so I just didn't measure, just kind of cut little tiny, pe little tiny pieces along the way and just started ripping. And this part was really fun. It ripped really well. I was really impressed with the quality of the fabric for a dollar. And it, see how like torn the polyester looks and all the rough edges? That's kind of what I was going for, so this worked out perfectly. And I don't know, I end up doing the proper amount of red and white stripes, but here I'm just kind of using the whole um, pillowcase. And I got smart there at the end and just snipped them all at the end. So I wanna do the white stripes. So the white pillowcase from Dollar Tree, unfortunately, is different. So it's this satin. And it's sewn differently, so I'm trying to like cut it where I can get some fabric. And it's super shiny, which I'm not that crazy over, but I figure that I can use the inside. And I'm just cutting off the seams. This one had a lot more seams than the other pillowcase did. And the same thing, I'm just gonna snip, 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 and then rip. But here is the problem it would not rip. No matter how hard I tried to pull on it, the fabric would not rip. I'm guessing because it's synthetic satin, I thought anything, any kind of fabric would rip, but this wouldn't. So I tried cutting one and it just did not give me the same effect as that ripped red pillowcase. So I decide plan B. I have some of this polyester fabric. It comes um, from the Dollar Tree and it's only a dollar and it's white and I said this will work since that's all I have. So I cut it and this ripped perfectly. It's not quite as um, rough edges as the red um, pillowcase, but it'll do. The only problem with using this fabric over the pillowcase is that it's shorter. So it did make my project end up shorter than I really originally wanted. I think it's like, 21 inches almost square that white piece of fabric from the Dollar Tree and so now I'm just kind of pairing off red and white stripes and I have to go in here and trim all of those red stripes because they are so much longer but what a fun way to make ribbon right And I'm just going along red, white stripe, red, white stripe. I ended up with way too many red stripes, but that's okay. I do use most of them here in a minute. And you can see that the white, the strings came off the sides of the white where I ripped it. And I do um, pull some more of those strings off to make it a little bit rougher, but it didn't give me that same cool distressed vibe that that pillowcase gave for sure. And there I am trying to pull some strings off the sides of those to try to make the edges more um, jagged and crazy and not so clean. 
And just the string hanging off of it doesn't really make it look um, the shabby chic look. It just kind of looks messy. So just pulling those white strings off the sides of those. And I have my red and my white stripes. Now I'm going to use one of these long, I think they're like hot dog sticks they have at Dollar Tree right now. And start stringing on my stripes. Now I am stringing the red. And the reason that I'm only doing the red is because they have these little loops on them um, from the pillowcase, which was my original plan. Now the white does not have that. So I am going along and I string 13 of the red. And what I'm gonna do is do my six white stripes um, like the flag has, um, just by attaching that to the front of one of the red ones that has a little loop on the top. Since I already had the red ones and I thought that would be a quick fix, just using my little miter scissors I got on Amazon. Those things are awesome for cutting dowels. Um, to cut my little hot dog stick to cut the point off there. And I also use some twine just to tie the sides on to make sure that it is not moving all over the place. And I want to try to just attach them like that. So I'm gonna have my 13 stripes and they're gonna be like red, white, red, white, red, white, you know, like they do. And I am just kind of figuring that out here, winding it all up, seeing where all my white stripes are gonna go. And I ended up with too many white stripes too. <laughs> it's because I didn't really count. I just went with it and ripped it off. So I'm just going to use hot glue just to attach the white stripe there at the top and let it kind of free hang. And I am going to do that all the way across with all of my white. Now the only thing I don't like about the hot glue there is that you can see it. It did soak through the fabric and you could see that along the top but I will go back and disguise that here in a minute. Okay, so we have all of our red and white stripes now with our handmade ribbon. I don't really like how clean the white ones look and I do end up pulling the red ones kind of more in front of the white ones to make it look a little bit more shabby. Now I got this scarf at the Dollar Tree and I thought it would be fun for the star part of the flag. It's not accurate at all. It's just got some random stars and red, white, and blue all over. But I thought it would work because that's what I had. Now I cut this, the little serged seams off this and ripped it. It did rip. It was harder to rip than the pillowcases and the fabric, but it eventually went there. And I'm just kind of seeing what size. It was a little thin. You could see the stripes through there. So I thought about doubling it up, but I didn't really want the stars to show through either. So I kind of do the size that I want there for the little blue quadrant of our flag. Then I'm gonna go in with some more of that polyester from the Dollar Tree, the craft fabric, and I'm just gonna line it with some hot glue and some of that white fabric so that you won't be able to see through it. I don't want the stripes to show through the blue part of the flag because that would not look right. And I just hot glued the corners just to tag them down and I'm just trimming the white so that you can't see it around the edges. And I'm just gonna hot glue that onto our flag. And we have our blue quadrant. I also hot glue it down there and on this corner but I end up lifting that corner up because I like it to be a little bit more free hanging and I use my miter scissors there to trim off that hot dog stick to the size of the flag and I'm just going to use some twine here to um, tie on a hanger Then I don't like that hot glue at the top. So I'm gonna take some of this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cut the wire off, at least on the front, to make it look rougher. Um, I don't want that clean edge and I'm just gonna hot glue that over all the areas where I hot glued um, the white fabric on. 
And then I'm just gonna wrap that around the top and hot glue that on the back. And that gives us a nice little finishing touch there. And I like that burlap with the um, colors there. The only problem with that too is that you can see the hot glue through it. So I decided to use a little piece of this Dollar Tree decorative rope that I have and just glue that on the top of that and it's gonna make it look way more finished. And everything looks better with a piece of rope on it. <laughs> And there it is. And you can see where I kind of pulled the red stripes up front because they look shabbier and I like that vibe a little bit better. Now, don't forget to stick around to the end and you'll get to see the final reveal of that shabby chic flag. Okay, this is my next idea. I want to try to make a flag out of flowers. So I got these from the Dollar Tree. I got three of the Red Mums three of the white roses and two of the blue, what did that say, iris? And I'm just gonna use one of these Dollar Tree signs. This is one of their nautical ones that has this little bump out. I don't really want that on there because I want it to hang straight against the wall. And I also cut off the twine because I'm gonna actually hang this sideways like a flag. And here I am just taking um, the white roses apart I tried really hard to do three different kinds of flowers because I thought that's going to give more variety. So I'm trying to figure out, I really want red stripes on the top and red stripes on the bottom. So that's going to involve three red stripes and two white stripes. So I really only needed two packages of the white. And then I'm going to fill in the blue quadrant with the blue flowers like that. I thought about attaching like floral foam or something to the front of it to stick it in, but then I was like, nah, I'll just hot glue it. Now here I'm, I'm snipping off the ends of the, the fake flowers. And, and then hindsight that ended up being a bad idea because some of the flowers that I did do that to ended up falling apart. I guess that's part keep helps keep the flower together. So don't do this part. Don't do the snip, snip, snip. I was doing that to try to make the flowers um, sit more flush with the wood sign and not at an angle, but it was a bad idea. As you can see here, um, some of them started to fall apart. And I'm having to fix that with some hot glue. And there is our first red stripe. And for some reason I didn't learn my lesson and I um, snipped some of the white ones as well. <laughs> and those fell apart too. So I am going in with another, my third white one there. And I have learned my lesson now. I am gluing them at an angle on one side of the little stem that's left on there. And they're just gonna have to be in an angle like that because I want my flowers to stay together. And so these are going in at an angle too for my red stripe. And I, I you know, I've taken the flowers off the ends like that from the Dollar Tree and worked with them. I don't know what I was thinking with snipping it. I really didn't know they were gonna fall apart like that, but lesson learned. And so I'm just going in and doing the same thing. Now this row and the next row are gonna be shorter because I need to leave room for the blue flowers. And I'm kind of putting the flowers tight together but not too tight. I want to get those distinctive red and white stripes for the flag. And this is the last row of red. And since I um, kind of changed my plan there and they're kind of tighter together because they are um, at an angle like that, you could see some of the, the wood um, on that sign at the top 
but I do go in here at the end and disguise that. So we have all of our red and white stripes done there. And now it is time to start working on the blue. And I think this project, it was so much fun and it was so quick and it turned out so cute. I really love it. I was trying to go with a flower flag without getting that, um, you know, arrangement that you would see like somebody putting on like a tombstone for Memorial Day or something like that. And it actually turned out really cute. And here I am just using some of those extra pieces of flowers um, that I had left over just to fill in some of those little areas where you could see the wood sign there at the top because I don't want any of the wood showing through. And we have a flag. I really like this flag. So fun. So all I'm gonna do is turn that sign over and I am gonna glue twine onto the back to make a hanger. And that is all there is to that project. I usually cover the back of my signs, but this was actually not dreadfully ugly. So I, I went ahead and left it like that, it was fine. No glitter on the sign, yay Dollar Tree. Okay, final reveal time. Here is our lay flag. And isn't it wonderful? I love how this turned out. You can hang it inside like this. You can hang it outside for a party. I think it's so much fun. And remember to put the blue on the left. And here is our shabby chic flag that we made out of the pillowcases, that craft fabric, and a scarf. And I think it turned out really fun. My white stripes um, were not as long as I would like the flag to be, but it's a nice, small, um, shabby, chic little flag. And it's definitely got some fun textures. And here is our flower flag hanging on the side of my cabinet here. I think this turned out so bright and so fun. So what did you guys think of my three creative flag projects? I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Just because my videos pop up doesn't mean that you're subscribed. Sometimes YouTube's just really that smart. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos. Until next time, bye!